is a musical adventure of original music performed on instruments built from junk and recycled materials. I created the show because I wanted to give audiences a musical experience that they've never heard or seen before. All the instruments are built from junk. We've got a bass built out of a wheelbarrow, a cello built out of a tin garbage can, a violin built from a baseball bat and paper mache, another one built from a field hockey stick and dryer vent piping, a tube tower built from 170 feet of drainage tubing, a sleeping harp it's built from an old bed frame, and one of my favorites, a timpani drum built from the front end of a 1999 Honda Accord automobile. Science World a few weeks ago and uh, we did a small show at their center stage and I, I find I get a bit jaded with these instruments because I've been around them for so long but it's nice to get a fresh perspective when somebody comes by the table and sees your instruments for the first time and you can see the awe in their face in terms of how does it make that sound how, how did you build it why why does it work it constantly amazes me what amazes people I have a table full of instruments and I also have this big rubber tire that I wrapped in cellophane because it makes a really good bass sound when you, when you strike it. And uh, people love the tire. And I'm like, well, ch check out this violin, you know, it's made from, from paper mache and a baseball bat and, and it's tuned really well and, and it took a long time to build. And they're like, that's kind of nice, but uh, geez, this tire, did you hear the sound that that makes? Festival last year in 2014 as Junk the Musical and the audiences loved it. They were in awe at the sounds and the music that was coming from the instruments that they saw in front of them. The Fringe Show was a good start but it wasn't a realization of the full vision that I had because you, you know you can only build the stage so big you, know, you only have 15 minutes to set up because you're sharing the stage with a bunch of other acts. So I thought this year I'm going to realize the vision and I'm going to get a bigger stage. I'm going to write the show longer. So I doubled the size with a lot of, a lot of new music. Um, I wanted a larger cast so we now have 12 people in the cast. I spent the last year building more instruments, larger instruments, and took the time to be able to play a little bit more with the different resonances of objects that I wanted to have on stage. So the stage is now huge with, with all of these instruments and um, I changed the, the name to The Music of Junk and I changed the show concept so that it's not as much a musical now as it is um, a, a concert of my original music with stories intertwined within the, within the songs. There's 12 cast members all together and they're extremely talented, they're imaginative and they can take their expertise on their particular instruments and bring that to these instruments that I've built from, from junk. And it's a real testament to their talents. When I set out to create the show, right from the beginning I knew that I wanted the music to be lyrical. I wanted it to have stories. I wanted to, to touch the audience with the words. And I wanted to take advantage of sounds that have never been heard before and have these sounds work together to form an orchestra. I didn't want the band to be just percussive. Yeah, that's been done before. I wanted to play beautiful music using sounds coming from pieces of junk. To me, it's interesting finding pieces of junk that resonate and they can make tones and that you can put together to form an orchestra. That's what I set out to do. I'm intrigued by the sounds that can be made from non-musical items. I mean, what does a tin garbage can sound like when, when a vibrating string makes the air inside of it resonate? What will a 10-foot a structure of drainage tubing sound like? I mean, what, what kind of sound will we get when we drum on the front end of a, a car? Can I build a huge drum set out of pots and 
pans and lids and all sorts of trash items and can that sound be good enough to drive the beat for a large band. spans many different genres. I have some, some pop, some rock, a folk rock song, blues, um, orchestral. I've even got a Scottish song that I wrote for a, a set of garbage bagpipes that I built. It's, uh, it's just a fun show and the, it'll get the audience uh, rocking in their seats. You know, it's a, it's a show for all ages. I was surprised after the Fringe show his uh, parents were emailing me telling me that uh, that their kids went home and then they started pulling out pots and pans and banging on them like drum sets and they started making instruments. The show has a strong recycling theme, but what better way to make people aware of recycling than to engage them in a music show with instruments built from junk. I think audiences will love the show. It's very visual just as it is musical. I spent the last two years of my life in my garage building these instruments and, and writing the show. I have a fantastic cast of performers and musicians from all different musical backgrounds who who take my music off the page and they really bring it to life. People should come out and see the show, have some fun, and hear what junk sounds like. Whoa.